Hey, my name is Bashar Cheshwin and I'm 13. That apparently makes me the youngest member of Hobie Iraq. It's been a pleasure for me to be a member of Hobie Iraq for almost two years now. Hobie had taught me a lot of things that helped me in different aspects of life. I'm here today to introduce you to my country, Iraq. The Republic of Iraq is a country in Western Asia. It has borders with Turkey, Iran, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia, Jordan, and Syria. The total area of Iraq is 437,072 kilometers squared, with a population of around 36 million. Its capital is Baghdad, which is located in the center of the country. The northern part of Iraq is known as the Kurdistan region, defined as the federal entity of Iraq. It's where I live. It occupies an area of 41,710 kilometers squared from the overall surface of Iraq, with a population of around 8.35 million people. Iraq became the homeland to many different nationalities, as Akkadian, Sumerian, Assyrian, and Babylonian. Due to the intense history of Iraq, it has been an important site of historical traces in Asia remains that played an important role in discovering more and more about ancient civilizations. For instance, the Hanging Gardens of Babylon, built by King Nebuchadnezzar II, and is one of the seven wonders of the world. Another example is the Erbil Citadel, which is the oldest continuously inhabited city in the entire world, and many more. Iraq is a multicultural, ethnical country. The two largest ethnic groups in the region are Arabs and Kurds, in addition to Assyrians, Turkmen, Shabakis, Armenian, Mandinians, Circassians, and Kabbalese. However, most of the Iraqi citizens are Muslims, either Shia or Sunni. Moreover, Christianity, Yarsan, Yazidism, and Mandianism are also other religions that are being freely practiced. In this point, you may think that people start fighting amongst themselves due to the different religions and each one's different beliefs. Indeed, they did. Despite the rather often squabbles, people lived happily and started learning their religion must not set them apart. So everything was going just fine. Until one day, we woke up on a nightmare called ISIS. People were being tortured and killed. They were sent out of their homes and told never to return. Kids were weeping. Women were screaming as they were witnessing the murder of their husbands. And happiness has gone all away. The dreams that were in the heads of thousands were all swept away. The only thing everyone was wishing was to wake up from this gruesome nightmare. Some people fled to the surrounding safe towns. Others migrated abroad to different countries. And the rest fell victims for the merciless ISIS. The ones that fled are now living in camps and caravans in the safe towns and cities. Their situation is unbelievable and apparently unbearable. Students, members of organizations, rich, everyone is giving the refugees whatever they could provide, for they are in a miserable condition. Nevertheless, people are still trying their best to draw a smile on as many faces as they could find. Life is still going on, and people are still living. So I lose hope. If we want, won't help each other, then who would help us?
there comes a time when we hit a certain goal, when the world must come together as one. There are people dying, no one has time to learn a hand to life, the greatest gift of To make a brighter day So let's start giving There's a choice we're making We're saving our own lives It's true we'll make a better day Just you and me It's true we'll make a better day Just you and me We are the world, we are